Hey, we're going to continue on with the Russian Ural uh, gas tank service here. And earlier, you might remember where I had this crossover pipe that I had to cut. When this sits on the motorcycle, these two tubes are going to allow fuel from this side to be able to get to this side and then get out the motor motorcycle so you can maximize the fuel capacity of the tank. Every time I go to service the vehicle, I wanted to be able to not have to cut it. I wanted to do a quick, a quick release clamp. So the brand that I'm using here, this uh, quick release clamp here, I'm using Motion Pro, and I'm always putting all new fuel line and vacuum lines on anyway, right? So with that in mind, this is going to allow me in the future to just take the mounts off, push the button, and what's cool about this one, inside of here there's a check valve. So when I disconnect this, this will hold fuel into the tank on, the, on either side and I don't have to actually worry about draining any fuel. So think about this, shut the fuel valve off, pop the disconnect, tank is off, can have five gallons of fuel in it and I won't be uh, um, having to take that extra step. So at $36, this is a really, really nice future uh, upgrade. So I've got a piece of fuel line here and I'm still in the process of creaming the tank and there's two reasons I don't want to actually cut it to size. Number one, I, I ultimately want to do this step with this on the on the motorcycle because there could be a frame or something that could be blocking uh, where this needs to go. So for me right now, if I build this up, I'm just going to be guessing, right? So it, when I get home, I'm going to go ahead and clamp this together now. Then when I get home, I'll clamp the other ends, be able to make it to a perfect size and attach my other two clamps. So that's why we'll wait on that. But we're going to be able to show you something I like to do. Traditionally, on all fuel lines, you're going to find things like this of a hose clamp. And one of the reasons I don't really care to use these when I don't have to is those jaws can dig into the fuel line. And it's just going to shorten its life, obviously. Some people will simply just use a cable tie. That's, that's fine, too. But I'm going to show you the ultimate clamp that you see typically on uh, OEM vehicles. And the other thing we have to think about is when I slide this hose on here, I want to make sure that I have my clamp on ahead of time. And these are called the barbs. And they're basically the jaws that are backwards to stop that fuel line from being able to just pull off really easy. So you can see here how I, I have it on here fully. And if I tug on this, it will not pull off. That gives me a good indication that this is the appropriate size line as well. So I'm going to do another thing here, show you guys in the video is first off I'm going to show you this kit and what this is is a type of clamping system that leaves a really nice, I'll grab a larger one, it leaves a really nice smooth surface in there so that I don't have those typical jaws that are biting in. And to show you real quick the tool that it comes with, I can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the appropriate size clamp like I've slid on here, these are all sized, you want it just a hair loose so that you can get it on. If, if you have to have a little bit of drag, that's fine, but you should not have to force it on or it probably won't be able to slide up over the barb. The whole point of this is I'm going to compress this part of the clamp, giving it a tight fit, and once it can't rotate, it's tight enough. I don't need to do it any tighter. People screw these up all the time because they go way too tight, and then they actually damage the fuel line. You may have seen some of our other videos in our Every Mechanics playlist where most people are also not aware that all of these hose clamps have a torque spec. Anytime you have a fastener like this, they can be specified for a certain amount of clamping force. Where we need to be careful, again on this, is the stock setup was a rubber hose around a metal nipple. This, we're putting this around plastic. If I were to take and tighten this and crank down on it, there's a really good chance I'd break the plastic. Make sense? All right, so back to our Onaker set is I got two different ways I can clamp this. I can come in here with the jaws like this, which depending if this is an easy way to get the clamp on the motorcycle, maybe I'm coming from underneath on the gas tank and I need to be able to grab onto it like this. But what's really cool about this kit is it also allows me to get in here sideways. Maybe I need to sneak through something and clamp it that way. So it's a dual jaw setup. The other thing I want you to think about is I'm going to be really intentional right now on where I clamp this, okay? The other thing is, is I want to think about where I'm going to put this valve. If you guys remember, let me grab that gas tank again. Okay, so remember I'm underneath here? I want you to think about your customer. When they're going to go, you know, disconnect this fuel line, how it operates is I pop this valve and then it separates. If I put that in an upward position, isn't it more awkward for me to get around there and try and operate? If I have the tunnel of the motorcycle right here, 
this could make it where it's, it's almost impossible to operate. So you want to think about the orientation, and it's another reason I won't know until I put it on the motorcycle. Maybe I'm going to want it f uh, facing forward, that that's the easiest way to disconnect it. So keep that in mind. Since I'm, I'm only doing the one side right now, this isn't going to matter so much of this because when I cut these, I could put them, I could put this in any orientation I want on the motorcycle. But let's think about something here for a second. Let me turn this towards the camera to help you out. Since I know that I have an action in the future that's gonna cause me to have my finger here, wouldn't it make sense if I take and crimp my connector opposite that so that it's I have less room I, excuse me I have more room in here and I don't have to rub up against this crimp so man boy is that intentional mechanics yep. absolutely so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just rotate this the other way here so it's out of my way that lets me on the bench here go ahead and do that and the other thing I have to have is a little bit of x-ray vision I know that I had those uh, barbs on that fitting went about this far I want to put this in the middle I don't want to put it all the way up here, and I don't want to put it too far out here where I'd miss the barbs. I want it right in the middle because what we're doing is we're flaring that rubber by squeezing it around the barb to give it a really uh, nice tight fit. So let's go ahead here and uh, just do one of these. Like I said, I'm going to do it opposite. Go down here. And another thing I like to do is just get, just get it started. Do you notice how it won't slide around now? Yep. Okay, so with that being started, I can go ahead and I can really make it perfect. Okay, if you're going to build custom motorcycles or whatnot, are the attention to detail really important? Yeah. I mean, you know, having one face in one way and one face in another way could be the difference of a judge saying uh, we're going to dock you points on that, right? So I'm feeling pretty happy like this is nice and in line right here. And I can kind of give a little test fit here. I'm not going to need a whole lot more force. So you'll see that that's going to close up. Ready? With this being plastic, like I said, I'm not gonna go near as far. Zoom the camera in as tight as you can right here. Uh -huh. Can you actually see how this created a little gap now? Because when we pinched that, it actually flared, so it's kind of pointing up. Let's go and do the other side here. We'll make it match nice. Small steps. I'm going to check my work all the way around so you can see here that I have fuel line all the way around that. That's going to be good to go. So now in the future, I can take and separate this nice and easy. And that is how you use an Etiker uh, clamp kit uh, to create good secure fuel lines.